Hey guys, it is a Wednesday, and that right there, that's a pimple on my nose. There's some other ones too. Feel free to stare at them if you like. The reason I was making this video is because I feel like such a bad mom. Ow, Sage just scratched me. Me and my grandma went to town this morning, and I had to get stuff for Sage. She's been getting lots of ticks lately, and it's like, bleh, because... She's an inside dog and an outside dog, so not a very good combination. I need to eventually just leave her outside and just let her come inside like every once in a while, but not sleep in the house anymore. But I can't right now because she isn't spayed and I don't want her some random dog breeding her, so that's... A lot of the reason I leave her in the house and the other reason is just because she's so cute and I don't want to leave her outside all the time. But anyways, what I was going to get at, I bought this tick stuff for her and just like the stuff that you put down their back, the liquid stuff, so if you can see that strip down her back there, it's all oily and stuff now. But I also bought her a flea collar. See? So I put this flea collar on her, and um, it's the kind where it's like, it's really long and so you have adjust it to her neck and then you cut the excess off. So when I was cutting the excess off, I didn't even notice this until like way later on after I'd already done it. When I cut it, I accidentally chopped some of her hair off right there. Bing! Here, can you see that? It doesn't look terrible and she's just a dog, but I was like, oh. I'm sorry, Sagey, I messed up your hair. We'll see. We'll see if they can see it. It's just like, I don't know if you guys can even tell, but there's just like a little chunk there on her neck where I cut her hair. But I didn't mean to, I swear. I was afraid when I put that collar on her and that stuff down her back that she would come outside and just start like rolling around and trying to, you know, scratch the collar off and... Because I've always seen dogs, like, when you put the flea stuff on them, they don't like it. And they'll start rolling around in the dirt, like, trying to get it off of them, whatever's on them. But she didn't do that, so I was very proud of her. Also, last night, Jared brought home a shot for Sage. It was, um, it's like, I think it was seven-way or five-way shot. I forget what it's called. But it's, like, for a bunch of different dog diseases and, like, rabies and stuff like that. I just got a text message from Chastity. Oh my goodness. Actually, it's just her Facebook status, but that was cool. It just popped up on my phone. <laughs> Jared brought home the shot for Sage to get all those diseases taken care of because we don't want her to get any sicknesses. Sage has a sister that's like same age or whatever. They were in the same litter and Jared's sister has her. Um, yesterday, well, I guess the last couple days they had noticed that she was just kind of acting weird and like throwing up and stuff. I don't really know exactly what she was doing, but they took her to the vet and found out she had parvo, which is some kind of like sickness or disease or something that's like really serious. And um, basically, I don't know if she wasn't up to date on her shots or what, but long story short, she's still alive. They're having to really keeping a close eye on her and give her like an IV and stuff and she has like a cone on her head it's so sad so we I had Jared get one of those shots and bring it home so we could doctor stage you know hopefully she doesn't get something like that too but um I was kind of nervous to give her the shot but um Jared ended up doing it so it wasn't that big of a deal I just held her and he got some skin on her neck and popped it in there and all, she didn't start squirming around or anything. She just went, mm, she like whined, just bare, like really quiet. Like, I was so cute, but sad at the same time. She did really good. I was proud of her that she didn't start flipping out when he stuck the needle in. Any hoozles, tomorrow I am going with Chastity, my friend, to go look for wedding dresses. Woohoo! Not really sure yet um, when she's getting married. She's kind of trying to decide right now 
but it should be pretty soon, like within the next you know couple or few months, so she's got to get that dress. Tomorrow we shall go dress hunting, but that is all for now. I just wanted to tell you guys that I felt so bad for cutting Sage's hair with the flea collar. That's what this whole video was about, and then it ended up being a five, six minute video, so sorry about that. <laughs> I tend to ramble. Okay, guys, I'm going to shut up now, and I will see you guys tomorrow for hopefully a interesting wedding dress vlog, which I won't show the dress because that's bad luck if people see like what her dress looks like, right? Right, right, right? Or is it just the husband can't see the dress before they get married? I don't know. I don't know. Why am I touching my face? Stop looking at my pimples. Oh, Bye-bye.